Hello, welcome to Healthy Living Peter channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tomato stew or tomato sauce for jollof, the Ghanaian way. So the way I make my stew for jollof, I'm going to show you everything, all the things that I put in to make it. So that's what this video is going to be about. So just stay tight as I put everything together so you can do it for yourself as well. I will see you right here. Stay tuned. All right, so today's ingredient that I'm be using to make this tomato sauce or tomato stew for for jollof rice we are going to be using the fresh tomatoes this is a roma tomato this is a two pound tomato that i bought and then i'm going to be using three onions i'm going to be taking all the skin off i'm going to be using fresh ginger i'm going to be using a garlic which is the way i cook my meal it has to have a garlic i'm going to use and uh, this is the garlic the loose ones i'm going to use a mangy cube this is something you know to flavor the the stew that's what we use in ghana there's going to be you can if you don't have a fresh ginger to use you can substitute i use you can use a powdered ginger grounded ginger and then i'm going to use a garlic salt i'll be using cloves i love cloves cloves anytime i'm making stew or soup i have to eat Add cloves ginger garlic they have to go in there and onions and fennel seed i can't go without the fennel seed you can see that's going to be in the stew as well so i am going to take all these skins off and everything and cut it all up and we'll come back here and i'll show you how i blend everything together and start making this stew so stay with me and i will right away all right so i just finished taking all the skin of the onions have everything washed up we have our garlic the ginger everything is ready so now what i'm going to be doing is i am going to take like the fennel seed i'm going to take some this much like a, a tablespoon a tablespoon but that's how i want it you can always depending on how much you want you can that is up to you for me i'm going to use one tablespoon that should be enough for me and then i'm going to be using the clove i'm going to use one teaspoon of cloves and i'm just going to take that much and i'm going to put that in and that should be enough all right once that is done i am going to cut i'm going to cut the garlic And then I'm gonna put all this in here in the blender and I'm just going to add just a little bit of water for the cloves just to soften it up a little bit so we pour that water in there and then I'm going to cut the onions just cut it in two drop it in just drop that in and I need some onions to to stay uh, to fry in the oil so that's gonna be a very tiny one. Then slide it this way. I'm gonna chop this. All right, so this is what I'm gonna be frying in the oil before we start. And then I'm gonna need some onions as my stew is almost done i'm going to add some fresh onions to it so i'm going to cut this into threes and then cut this in two and i'm just going to separate this because i'm going to like a little garnish on top of the stew as it's almost done cut this a small i like it this big and you see what i mean at the end when i put it in the stew like that put it in here okay and then i have this also Let's see if i can get one from that okay so the rest of these are going to be blended i like to do it this way so then i don't have any surplus that i don't need anything that i don't need i just put it all together and blend it together with with the mixture that i want from that all that is in there and i am going to put this this onions in here and then this one here you know after cutting the onions your eyes started crying you know you start crying <laughs> so my my eyes are a little you know like i'm crying but it's just from the onions and then it starts your nose is running as well <laughs> all right as that is done all this is done all right so once this is done i'm going to add fresh pepper i grew this myself at my backyard you know so 
I uh, I have my own pepper that I grew. So this is what I'm be I, I'll be adding to it. I have the the hot one. I have poblano mixed with uh, the very very hot one. So these going to these five here. I'm going to be using to garnish at the end of the stew and put it in. So I'm going to add this here and the rest of these I'm going to add it to the blend the onions and I can I don't have to cut it since I'm going to blend it all right so once this is done I am now going to cut the, uh, the tomatoes I'm not going to blend the tomatoes I'm just going to cut it in chunk and add it to it sometimes I'll blend depending on how I want the stew to be or how I want it that's what I do so today I am just going to cut this in chunk that's all I'll be adding to the stew just like that just chunks pull right down cut it in two and a half cup all right so then i will finish cutting these tomatoes because i have to cut all these and i will see you right back here okay so i just finished cutting all the tomatoes and it's in here that's what we'll be using so just just chop it not you know very tiny just a little bit bigger depending on how you want it to be in the stew this is how i want it so i'm gonna keep it here once this is done we am going just going to start blending the mixture all these things that we mix together the onion um the onions the pepper fennel seed the cloves and then the ginger and garlic we're gonna blend all these together i already added a little water to it so we're just gonna start that now going to add a little bit more water to it just a little all right okay that is perfect so that is going to be going to our stew all right so now that that is done i'm now going to prepare the meat that i'm going to be using for this stew and i chop a half onion for to season the meat with so that's what is going in this one here all right so i'm gonna put this side here and i'm gonna start on the meat all right so i'm going this is what a meat this is a pork meat i like pork but i hardly eat it i'm not a meat person i like fish more than meat but sometimes i like to have meat in my stew sometimes i use fish today i just want to use meat so i'm going to show you how i season my meat or i use it for my stew so i'm just going to cut this you can buy the, the already cut you know they have a stew meat already cut you can buy for me i just want to fill everything myself so i prepare everything you know i buy the meat and cut it myself the the way the size i want so that is up to you you can decide how you want it but this is how i made mine all right so once i cut this i am just going to cut it into pieces and I've already washed everything out so I just dump it in this the bowl just cut it in cubes because once after I season this I am going to fry it as well you can do it different way I do it different way sometimes I can just season it like this and just put it in the stew or sometimes I can season it fry it before I put it in the stew so it all depends the way uh, I feel like how I want to use it all right so once this is all done I am going to season it all right so i have my onions that i'm gonna add to this and add all this into it and then i'm going to add some of the blend that we mix you know this has cloves ginger garlic everything and i want all these to be to flavor the meat for me so i'm going to do that i'm going to add a garlic salt to this i use the organic so i'm just going to drop some in there just to season it up i would say probably have uh, one teaspoon will do just one teaspoon all right once that is done i am going to add the blend 
all right so i'm gonna add some of the blend that we made it has the pepper everything and that will just season it nicely for us and that should be enough some flavor i sent to this okay and then i'm just gonna add a little salt just not too much like a, a teaspoon of salt and so you can have the flavor remember we already added a garlic sauce so just a little salt and now i'm going to add a, just add a little water to it so that can season with it and i'm going to mix everything together in the bowl so all the flavor will marinate in the meat all right so now i'm just going to set this on the stove for it to cook okay so now i'm going to turn the stove on i'm just going to put it on high so this can cook quickly for us and as that is cooking i am going to pour the remaining the remaining of our sauce here that we'll be adding to the just pour the remaining here that's what we'll be using for the stew now I'm going to cover this so it can boil quickly and I will see you back once this is this has boiled and cooked the way I want it and then I'll walk you through how I'm going to fry it and start making the stew so I'll see you all right so now you can see it's cooking and I want it to cook a little bit more at least uh, for 10 minutes so we still have a few more minutes for it to get all done before and i'm just gonna cover this again okay now our meat is done so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this off i'm going to switch this here and i'm going to put this big pan on here this is where i'm going to be frying the meat at the same time making the stew in here so i am going to add the oil that we'll be using you can use any kind of vegetable oils i mean i use organic there are organic ones i use olive oil and so you can use any kind it doesn't have to be a specific i'm gonna pour a little bit of that because we're gonna be using this to fry the meat and at the same time use this for the stew enough all right so as the oil is getting warm i am going to add just a little onions in here i'm gonna put this in and i am just going to take the the meats out of the the stock because we're going to be using the stock as well and i'm just going to take it one by one from the stock making a stew it takes a little bit you know takes a little time and i make this in large portion so i don't have to do this every time this can last me for a week for the stew and if i'm going to use this for jollof rice and then i still have some stew to use as an extra whenever i'm making meals like this i i spend like an hour an hour and a half to put everything together but then i know it's gonna last me for a while getting and we're gonna add the stock later to the stew everybody have their own way how they make uh they make their stews um uh, i can this there is different ways this is a, another way there are other ways that i make my stew if i just want to make something quick and then i don't have to go through all this i can just use some kind of fish i want in the stew and i'm done i don't have to blend anything i just cut everything into chunks and then make it like that but if i want to make a large portion i try to uh, blend few things all right so i got all the meat out and this is the stock you can see we are going to be adding the stock to the stew so i'm going to set this on the side here and then just wait for the oil to heat i'm going to be adding a can of tomato this is a tomato paste to the stew to thicken it up and so i'm just gonna cut, open that up all right so it's almost done i'm gonna add bay leaf uh, i can add bay leaf to the meat before you cook it or i can just add it to the the oil all right now i'm just going to put the meat in here make sure we don't add the oil because it will start popping
and then we're just gonna fry this to brown it up All right, so we're just gonna stir this again. We want this to brown, so we're gonna keep leaving it on here till it all browns on each side. It's getting there, you can see. And we can turn it, if, turn it some of them upside down. All right, we're gonna let it cook more as it all browns together. Okay, so it is browning more. I just wanna at least another five minutes and then we can take it out and start making our stew. Just another, let's say another, another three minutes and that should be done for us. Okay, our meat is almost, it's done, now it's done. It's brown, nicely brown, that's how I want it. So I am going to just take them out of the oil and put it in here. And with this meat, you can do anything with it. Sometimes we just cook a, a fresh, uh, make a fresh tomato, onions, pepper, ground it together and just add a meat like this to it and eat it with something else. There is so many ways that we can we transform or make our, our meals, especially from Ghana. Uh, we have so many ways of transforming things into different ways to enjoy and so this is how i make my meal at home whenever i want to make jollof rice i'm going to make a good stew add any meat sometimes i use goat meat i use pork i use chicken to make this today i'm just using pork today and so there are you can use any meat at all you want to make your stew so now that this is done i am going to add these onions the chopped onions back into this I'm going to use the same oil to make the stew. I'm going to leave the bay leaf in there. That's okay. It's not going to do anything to it. Just for like a two minutes. And the brown onions will not do anything, they just mix up to it. Alright, so once this is done like this, what I the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be adding the tomato paste that I just opened. And this is a 12 ounce you can use eight if you depending on how big you want the stew I want this stew to be a little bit a lot so that's why I'm using this at the 12 ounce tomato paste sometimes I use the one with basil in it
all right so now i'm gonna make sure that i stir this and we're gonna cook this through cook all the the water in the tomatoes out you can see that it's like the oil is a little bit more but don't worry about it there's going to be a lot of things going in here so it's all going to be drained out all right and i'm just going to let this cook through nicely all right so we're going to stir this a little bit more We want to cook out all the water in the tomato so we're gonna keep cooking it until it's all loosened up And we're gonna leave it on to cook more all right so I think this has cooked enough and the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a little uh, cayenne pepper to this be mindful already if you have I've already added a uh, fresh pepper in here so when I add want to add a little powdered uh, cayenne pepper just a little bit not too much but if you have not added a, a pepper to your blending then you can add a little bit more cayenne pepper depending on how you you want your your pepper to taste in your meal so that's what i'm going to be doing i have a, a ghana pepper a pepper that i brought with me which i use it's very very hot it's hotter than the cayenne pepper that they have here so just be mindful when you are using your pepper and I'm just going to take a, just a teaspoon. Alright, and I'm just going to add a teaspoon to this and just spread it in there like that. And I'm going to see how it makes it boiling like that is the pepper. So we're going to blend all these together. And then we're going to make it cook a little bit more. Alright, so now I'm going to add one of the Maggi Cube that I'm using. This is the shrimp one. I'm going to add it to this one. And then I'm going to add our blended sauce that's going to go in. Alright. And we are going to cook this a little bit more now you can see our stew is coming along little by little so we mix everything together and we have to let this cook another five minutes okay as this has cooked a little bit i am going to just make sure you know stir, you stir it once in a while so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan all right and i'm going to add the stock that stock is from the meat the pork meat that i season and i said we are going to use the stock this is the time i drop that in pour it in okay 
so now that is this is dropping i am now going to add our cut tomatoes and we're gonna cook everything together you can see everything is coming along nicely all right so this there goes our tomato drop all that in all right i am going to add a little accent to this and i'm going to add some garlic salt just be mindful we have added some garlic salt so just a little bit and we are going to stir everything together all right okay now we're just gonna let this cook just stir it nicely have everything mix incorporate everything in in here okay we're gonna have this cook for five minutes i'm going to add the remaining maggi cube that i have that i'm using and this is going to be slatting so what i do is i have a little net that i just put it on here so then when it's cooking the oil doesn't splash on you know everything that I, you can see everything that i'm doing here i'm going to lower this down a little bit the heat i turn it down a little bit so it doesn't splash, splash too much so let's let this cook for five minutes and we will come back and stir and then add our meat and everything to it all right so we're gonna stir i'm taking this off here just be careful this is gonna be dripping and so now that we've taken that out going to stir this and see it's cooking all the we are going to cook all the all the water out of this stew and you will see once it's all done there's not going to be any water in here it's just going to be cooked sauce that we need for our jollof rice okay so now i am going to put in the meat that we we made so this is going to go in just drop it in there and it's going to cook and soften more all right just incorporate everything in here and it's your own sauce i mean how whatever you want to put in uh it's yours so you can make it how you want it and this is how i make my stew for my jollof rice i can eat this with anything with plain rice with uh plantain with yam with cocoa yam with banku anything that i cook this stew can be eaten with anything at all it, it's just a stew that that is general general for anything so we can use this for jollof rice use it for anything else that we want to make so when i make this this will last me two three weeks because i take a portion that i want to be using put it in the fridge and put the remaining in the freezer and then whenever you know i want it i just go take it out and use so you're going to be spending some time making this but once it's done you know you have sauce there you know you have sauce that whenever you want to cook something you don't need to make a new sauce you just take some of these and add it to something new that you want to cook so at least you're going to be spending an hour to two hours to make this all the way to have a full sauce that will last you a few months maybe one month depending on how much you use it for me it will last me like a month so now that that is done i am going to cover it to cook more and as you, this is cooking you can taste it depending on how the taste is with this we don't need to add anything everything seems to be to combine nicely with this and um, all we have to do is we're just going to cover this back so it doesn't splat everywhere in your kitchen so just be just be careful of that it will splash on everything you you have on here so i try to just cover it like this and then it's good to go okay so now i'm gonna take this off again we are going to check how this stew is doing okay now it's boiling nicely everything is being incorporated and so now what i have to do is i'm going to put in the onions that i put aside and see the 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 tomatoes is cooking down nicely and that's how i want it i want to have chunk tomato in my sauce so ah uh, that's how i if not if i don't want any chunks i can just blend it like just have blended the onions and the, the garlic and all that and so there will not be any onions or tomatoes like this in the stew but this is how I want it. I want to see tomatoes like this in the stew. So that's how I'm making it. So you can make the stew different ways, whichever way you want. Okay, now this is almost done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember our cut onions that I left. So we are going to use that. This one, I'm going to add it to the stew. 
so it's fresh like that and just add it all right and i'm going to stir this and you can see how it gives it it makes the stew give it a little you know nicely seen all right and that's what i want and we're just going to put this on low a little all right and then with this i'm going to add a little parsley just parsley flakes just to give it that little fresh herbs to it like a teaspoon and then we we'll just drop that in like that and i'm going to mix everything together you can see it's flattened so i'm going to just stir this a little in here and then i'm going to cover it and it's now on low i just put it on low for it to season another five minutes and the stew is done for us all right so now this is the stew our final product is ready so the stew is ready you can see it's all cooked down everything is cooked down in here and the onions is still half cooked which is what i like uh, i have splat all over the stove so just be mindful there's going to be splat from the stew even though we cover it it's still splat so and with all this oil what i do is once this is done i'm going to off the stove so it is done. I just take all the oil out of here. Which, all right. So I'm going to take this off the stove so it's, it will stop splatting. And I'm going to set this here. It is heavy. Okay, so I took this off the stove so it will stop splashing. What I do is I just take the oils off. But there is too much oil here. You don't need that much oil. But because of the how we fry the meat, all that, and we want to use the same oil for the stew. So all you just do is just, just like this. Not much thing. Just put your spoon in here and you take all the oil out. And you just leave as much as you want in there so this is what i'm doing take all the oil and that is just so simple quick that's how much oil we take off here and you can use this oil for another time if you want to make a stew or something else you can just use this oil because it still have all the flavor in everything that we added to the stew it's in this oil so you can reuse it you don't have to throw it away because i'm gonna use this again for something different so uh, you don't have to throw it away okay so now that we've taken all this oil that we don't want the extra oil we don't want now our stew you can see how much stew we have here for that we'll be making using this for our uh, jollof rice all right so that is how you make homemade we call it stew stew or you call it tomato sauce this is how we make we make our own this is how i make my own at home this is a Ghanaian way of making stew and i use this to cook jollof i can use this to add anything else that i want with this stew so i am going to all right so now that we have our stew all done is ready we are going what i do is i just pour this in a container that have a cover so whenever i want some i can just take it either from the uh, refrigerator or in the freezer so this has a cover once this cools down i just put it in a fridge so i am just going to dump this in here Just scrape all the bottom thing in here okay all right and now that it's our stew that we can use this stew for anything we want for rice for jollof rice for yam for plantain anything that we cook we can use the stew for it so that's just a basic way of uh, making just a general stew for anything that we want to eat this stew with so this is good for anything that you cook rice even if it's cooked potatoes anything yam cocoa yam plantain anything that you cook we eat you can use this for as a sauce so that that's everything that comes together for you so i hope you made this and enjoy it and uh that's all there is make a little taste to see how this comes out all right so the stew is done and this as i put it in the slate you can see how thick it is with everything else and i am going to taste this all right so <laughs> so we finally finished our tomato sauce and i am going to give it a taste mm. oh my goodness 
it is spicy but that's me i like a spicy food it's there is a heat to it i can taste the ginger the cloves the fennel seed even though it's all mixed up i taste all these uh ingredients that it's in this stew but there is a heat to it because of the peppers that we added and all the ginger and all the cloves that we added to it you can taste everything else the tomato is there because i want the chunk that's how i want it so i taste everything and it's so good and we're going to be using this stew to make jollof rice so if you're wondering how to make a stew or how to make a jollof rice stew this is how you make it there is different ways to make a stew there is a quicker way that i make this it will it take me 30 minutes and i'm finished doing that stew but today i made this purposefully for anyone that wants to learn or want to know how to make a, a stew for jollof rice not only for jollof rice for rice plain rice when you cook plain rice you eat this you can use this stew for it when you are cooking plantain because that's what i'll be using with this stew i'm going to make this stew for the jollof i'm going to use it for my plantain when i cook fresh plantain when i cook my plain rice when i make my rice and uh, rice and bean i'm going to be using this stew so it takes time at least it took me almost like a, an hour and a half to put everything together to make it to be ready so give yourself at least two hours prepare everything else just follow the how i put everything together cut everything out and then you can use chicken you can use beef you can use uh, pork any meat that you want you can use it to make the stew for me today i just use pork for it because that's what i have at hand but you can choose to use chicken any meat that you like and just make it your own and just let me know in the comment section below how yours came out it's going to taste differently some people don't like ginger or cloves or fennel seed in their meal for me that's what i like because i want spicy food so i put all these things you can omit all this from yours and just make it the way you want just follow the this video to make it and omit anything that you don't want if you don't want ginger take it out if you don't want garlic take it out if you don't want a fennel seed don't add those just add the things that you like and make it your own and in the, my next video i'm going to show you how I make the jollof rice with this stew so I will see you on my next video if you like this gives you any value don't forget to subscribe to this channel share likes and make if you have any comments leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you as always thank you for your time for watching me <laughs> watching me through all this uh, video put all this stew together it takes a lot of time but I'm glad you stayed throughout this video and I'll see you on my next one stay blessed take care bye bye